guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something really exciting. I placed a huge order on Abercrombie and Fitch and I thought I could wear all Abercrombie for an entire week. Now, when I was a teenager, like 13, 14, 15, this would have been a dream. I loved Abercrombie, but I feel like they kind of went out of style like after I was out of high school, like 2010, 2011, I started noticing people weren't really wearing it. I stopped wearing it. I was way more into like Forever 21 at the time and stuff like that. So I have not really worn Abercrombie in quite a while. I think they did like a huge whole rebrand maybe a year or two back. And since then I have bought a pair of like really cute denim shorts from there that I love. They were super good quality. I've shared them with you guys on Instagram. And I've been curious about their other things. I feel like they have some good basics. I feel like their style is just, it's very classic. And I feel like even in the past when I wore it as a teenager, it was very classic, um, minimal type of just basics. And I really like that. So I like that they've kind of elevated them. They have brought them into 2019. This is actually all Abercrombie. So it's just really like, easy pieces to throw cute outfits together a lot of things you can mix and match and what i've really noticed is they have great denim but there were definitely a couple of fails and a couple of things that i'm unsure about so if you want to see a week in my life wearing abercrombie keep on watching by the way if you guys are new to my channel and you like these type of fashion videos give this one a thumbs up i love filming them and let me know down below in the comments what story you want me to do next i was thinking express would be fun so let me know and let's roll the footage day one wearing abercrombie i have to run to a couple meetings and appointments today so i thought something just really casual and cozy it's kind of like a gloomy rainy day so i just wanted to be comfortable this is outfit one. What do you think, Michael? I like it. I am really impressed. So I have a little confession to make. This package came a couple of days earlier. So I've, I already wore one of the things and it was a pair of jeans and I really love them. This is the other pair of jeans that I got. And I also really love these. I'm super impressed with their denim. So I want to give you guys some info about the jeans. I'll link everything down below, but I got them in size 26, which is my true size. Lately, I've been feeling like a 26 feels a little big, no matter where it's from, so I might need to start sizing down, but typically I'm a 26, and these, I feel, fit true to size. I think that they came in like short, medium, and long. I think I just got like medium or regular, but they're called the Ultra High Rise Mom Jean. They were $88, so for me, finding a pair of really nice quality denim under $100 is like a really good score because I usually keep my jeans for years and years. I like to really wear them a lot. So I like this color, a little bit darker. I put it on with my Louis boots. You obviously do not have to do this, but I bought these boots like three years ago. And I just, you know, I want to make sure I get my wear out of them and I try to wear them as much as I can. So that is why I'm wearing them. But any kind of like brown boot like this, I think would look adorable or even like white sneakers or something would look really cute. And then this sweater, just a nice, basic, chunky sweater. I will say it's a tiny bit itchy. I don't know exactly what the material is, but I went ahead and put like a white cami underneath just so it's not super itchy on my body, but not anything crazy. Like it's definitely not itchy on my arms or anything. I'm just kind of a little bit like weird about that stuff. So I just put a cami underneath. I love the collar neck. I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm about to go get my eyelashes done, but this sweater was, 68, I have it in a size small. So I'm pretty impressed so far. Here is look one. Let's head out to our meetings. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. Mm -hmm. I always like to get little clips like out and about so you guys can see that I'm actually wearing the outfits and doing stuff in them, but I'm on my own today. So it's gonna be a little bit harder. I just got to my lash place. So this is the before. I feel like they look pretty good still, but I, um, they're still kind of wet. So I just take a shower this morning and they take a while to kind of like separate after a shower so i'm gonna go in here and get them filled and then i have like a fun meeting at one o'clock just for work stuff for good to be stuff we've been working a lot on that lately and the after they look so good always love getting my lashes done so now i am going to maybe get a coffee and then i have um a meeting in a little bit so i'm just gonna grab a coffee first and that's what I'm doing. The clothes are good. Outfit number two. I'm all bundled up and cozy. We're about to head out the door to go shopping and film a video. So I will show you guys my outfit when we're out and about. 
outfit number two. I'm all bundled up and cozy. We're about to head out the door to go shopping and film a video, so I will show you guys my outfit when we're out and about. So here's my outfit today. All Abercrombie, of course. <laughs> this jacket I'm obsessed with. It is so cozy. The cami, it's actually a bodysuit. Same jeans as last time. It looks We're going great. Shopping. Let's go. This jacket is so cozy and it came in like velvet, like a bunch of materials and colors. But I love it. And then the bodysuit, I feel like you could dress this up or down. I just wore it with sneakers, but you could do heels too. It is the next day. I'm not even ready yet, but I wanted to show you guys this outfit because I'm really upset. Wow. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, I put this on and I thought it was going to be so cute because I know you guys like basics. I do too. I love these jeans. I've already been wearing them. It looks really good on you. It that looks, sucks. It looks really good. These jeans are great. They are very high waisted. I have a long torso. So for me, things never actually like look high waisted. These come up over the belly button. I got them in a short. Like I said, they have short, regular, and long. I'm five foot three, and the length is perfect. The fit is good. I think I should just. Live we got some that. candy on the floor behind us. Too late, it's fine. <laughs> but, um, and I thought this sweater was so cute and like just kind of an easy, lightweight, basic. It's actually a bodysuit. I thought I loved this outfit, and then I was like gonna do my hair, and I put my arm up to curl my hair, and I noticed this huge hole. I just pulled it out of the packaging this morning, so I know things happen, but like. That's like, pretty it's bad. That's pretty bad. It almost looks like when you showed me it, I thought it was like where those old shirts where your thumbs you went through. I did too. I was like, oh, I didn't know that sweater had that. And I was like, oh, it's huge. I can't wear it. No. I mean, I'm sure that this is just a random one that's messed up, but it does make me think it's delicate. Like, you had to kind of be delicate with it in the wash. I'm obviously going to try to exchange it, but that was my third outfit. Let me change into something different and get ready and I will show you what I'm gonna wear instead. I went ahead and changed. I did my hair, I did my makeup, I kept the jeans on because I love them. I just added on this little sweater and I almost had another fail because I had it flipped the other way and then I remembered that it's supposed to go in the back. So this is the back. I kept it on with a regular bra. I think you kind of have to be aware that maybe one of those bras that just kind of like sticks to your side would be better. I don't know, but I just like to wear a regular bra. But can't see it right now. You can't? No. I think it's cute. I mean, I'm sure you could wear that in the front too. And that's how I had it and it looked really good. And then I was like, hmm, something seems off. And then I remembered that it was supposed to go in the back. So it's kind of um, see-through. So I'd wear it with like a nude bra or like maybe even a cami underneath, but then you wouldn't be able to see the back. So nude bra, you can't really see through. No, not really. Right. It looks... Now I'll say, looking at it on camera, you can see through more than it does in real life. In real life. Because of the sharpness sharp. is so sharp. Yeah. So. And the jeans are so high waisted that you're really not showing much skin. That's why, I mean, it's kind of, that's the issue is it's open in the back. So you kind of want to wear a different type of bra, but it's see through in the front. So you want to wear your like full coverage type of bra. So I don't know. I guess just one that you are fine with if it like peeks through a little bit would be okay. I'm fine with this. I think it's really cozy. It's not scratchy or itchy or anything like that. It's just warm and cozy. So I'm just going to be running to the store today. I have to make stuff. It's Halloween. So I'm going to make pumpkin muffins and stuff like that. I'm going to clean up the house. So we're just kind of running around all day today. And this is going to be like comfy and cute. Morning you guys. I am in one of my final Abercrombie outfits today. I'm running to a little business meeting over breakfast, so I am ready to go. You know what I'm filming? I'm wearing Abercrombie for the week. Oh! oh I love that. <laughs> a cute little sweater dress. A long sleeve, a jacket, really warm. I didn't get to share too much with you guys this morning, but we had a really good meeting, Mallory and I, and you guys saw some of that footage. So I thought I would go over my outfit here now that I'm home. This is something really out of my comfort zone that I normally wouldn't wear. What do you think of it? ba -boom. It was a really cold day, so um, normally I would have put tights, but I just can't find them. I don't know. I think, I I think it looks good without the tights, but the material is not something I usually see you wearing. Yeah, what I like about it is that it's very um, loose, like it's not tight on your body, so you're not feeling like, like it's a little bit more forgiving, and I like that it's longer because it's actually warm, 
Um, let me show you. This the coat is also from Abercrombie, so it's just like. I a like the jacket. Coat. They had this in a bunch of different colors. I thought the black and white would just go with a lot of stuff. Really nice with jeans or dresses. Kind of a nice trench. Really warm. Really comfortable. And then the dress. Do a spin. I mean, I don't have space or anything on because I knew I was going to wear the coat over it, so I probably would. But when you know you're wearing something over, it's no big deal. Like I could throw on like a little faux fur vest over this. Denim jacket, long jacket, whatever. I like it. I like it too. So. That is my look for today. Hello, so I finally have a couple minutes to like sit down and talk. I feel like this whole video has just been me like rushing out the door, having one minute to film. So I thought I would do kind of an overview of what I thought um, and then my final upload. So it's Saturday afternoon right now. Julian is asleep taking a nap and when he wakes up, we're gonna go out to lunch, go get some groceries, walk around a little bit. It's a nice day. So I threw on my final outfit. I'm like out of clothes here. So another Abercrombie sweater. They've been having some great sweaters. I love this style lately where it's a little bit shorter. The buttons, you could wear a tank or t-shirt underneath it or like I did just wear it on its own really pretty ivory color and then i actually have it on with a new pair of jeans they are called the mom jean um and they are really comfortable so i got them in my same size 26. um i'd say they run about a size or a half a size large so i could have sized down to a 25 if i wanted something a little bit more snug but i do think that's kind of the point of a mom jean is you want something relaxed and so like they're just really, really comfortable. Perfect for mom life. So I love this outfit. Um, normally I'd probably wear blue with this sweater, but I wanted to make sure I wore like the rest of my clothes. So I'll, I'll insert some clips so you guys can see what this looks like full body. But overall my thoughts are that um, the quality is pretty good. I'd say the quality is there, especially for their prices. I feel like they always have sales or discounts going on. That's really nice. Um, some of that stuff is a little bit more, okay, Colby had a hairball. Um, some of the stuff is a little bit more expensive than I think it should be. Like once it starts getting into that $80 range, I just feel like that seems like a lot for like basics. So, that's my thoughts there. Overall, I really love their pieces. I know, I see you. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. Colby's so confused every time I pull up the camera, but love their jeans, love their basics. I think that one sweater that was, I think that one sweater that was ripped was just kind of like a one-off. I feel like that was just, just something like a mistake that happened. I'm sure they would exchange it if I tried to exchange it too. So let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this video, what outfit was your favorite? If there's anything that you wanna pick up, I will make sure to include links to everything in order so you guys can see that. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and make new videos every week. I'd love to have you be a part of our family here and let me know what story should I do next. Like I said in the beginning, I was thinking Express, but you guys let me know and I'll see you next week with a really exciting video. It's a Christmas decor shop with me, so get ready.